It is I, GTV News for Gamers, as always, coming at you with another pickup video, part two of the return of the big one. <laughs> last time we looked at video games that I picked up recently over the last eh, month or so. Today we're looking at toys. And I figure the perfect segue is to start off with toys based on video games. It's a Mario! Woohoo! <laughs> So, I got this from EV Games. It was originally $17.99, marked down to about 10 bucks. Uh, these are ultra detail figures from Japan. I forget who exactly makes these. I don't think it's Tomy, but uh, it is based on the classic uh, Famicom box art of Super Mario Bros. 1, which feature Mario in this exact position, mushroom and everything, and it's a really nice uh, display piece. Want to get it, because it's just... It's just, it's classic, like it would fit right on top of the old NES over there. <laughs> right, right along with the uh, Mega Man decals I got on there. And they have other ones, like uh, they have various Marios, of course. They have Legend of Zelda, they have uh, Pikmin. They uh, Pikmin? No, I think they have uh, Yoshi. Uh, they have Luigi from Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, which I really want to get. <laughs> That's a cool figure, so that was ten bucks. Next up, some more new World of Nintendo figures. Uh, actually, these are the first World of Nintendo figures I've bought. In. Bought, in, bought, whatever. Uh, this was seven bucks from Walmart. It's Deku Link from Majora's Mask. He's got the little flower, everything. Not a whole lot of articulation, just the arms and the head kind of moves. But it's very nicely detailed. Always happy. So happy that uh, Nintendo is putting out more and more merchandise thanks to their licensing agreement with Jack Specific. The World of Nintendo line's been fantastic. Can't wait to get Fox. Uh, I'd like to get the Ocarina of Time Link. You'll see why in a minute. I want to get that giant Metroid. I want to get Samus. It doesn't matter if it's her Varia suit or uh, her Gravity suit variant. Uh, definitely want to get Fox McCloud. Maybe some of the others. Uh, it's just, it's very nice to have more and more gaming merchandise out there than just Mario. And speaking of uh, gaming merchandise, if I can get her to hold the blasted harpsichord. Come on. Is that a harpsichord? I think it's just a harp. Anyway, it is Sheik from Ocarina of Time. This one was a little bit more expensive. Cost me about 15 bucks, I think, at Walmart. <laughs> I know they're way cheaper in the U.S. Uh, very, very detailed. As you can see, they even got the eye done very well. She comes with a little harp accessory. Very nice. Little articulation in the knees, the uh, the ankles, the arms, and there goes the harp. It doesn't fit very well unless you have her holding it with both hands. But you can see the arms move up, elbows, uh, wrists swivel. They're supposed to, I think. You can see there's a joint there that I think means they're supposed to hinge back and forth, but they really don't, and I'd rather not mess with it because they feel kind of flimsy. That joint, uh, head can move. Feels like it's on a Something of a ball joint swivel? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yes, very nice to have it. Love Zelda collectibles. <laughs> so that does it for the video game based figures. <laughs> now we're going to get into the uh, bread and butter. Uh, I picked these up from Superstore using some of the birthday money from my dad and brother, post birthday, of course. Uh, saw Civil War, loved it. Uh, if you haven't seen Captain America Civil War, you should see it. They, they got that they got that Spider-Man just right, man. They got that Spider-Man just right. I love Tom Holland already. <laughs> he barely he was barely in like half an hour of the movie, but he rocked it. No further spoilers. Uh, here we have Hawkeye. Very very purple. Uh, I like that's more of the comics than the uh, muted tones of the movie figure. The bow doesn't have the greatest of times staying in his hand, and this arrow quiver keeps coming off. But I mean, you know, when the eyes are just black splotches, but for a, a two and a half inch figure, uh, this is pretty good. It's nice. I have a whole, like, where is it? I have a whole gaggle of Avengers now. Plus, Groot and Rocket with them. So I'm hoping to get more. Uh, the, I know the last ones I need are <laughs> Falcon and War Machine. Uh, I hope they release a Spider Man and an Ant Man in that scale. It would be nice to have, like, just an entire Avenger set, plus Groot and Rocket Raccoon, because now they're Avengers in my mind. And you can't tell me otherwise. But here's Black Panther, who was awesome. Chadwick Boseman, you the man. Can't wait for Black Panther's solo film in 2018. Peekaboo, T'Challa. <laughs> I know next to nothing about Black Panther. Same with Doctor Strange, but I loved both of them, and now I'm really going to seek out their comics even more so. So he has these little claws, accessories, uh... Iron Man came with the same deal, like, 
shoulder cannons and a helmet and like pounding gloves or fists. It's weird. What can you do? These toys are meant for kids. Believe it or not, yes, toys are still meant for children. Shocking, I know. Yeah, but uh, I like the tribal look to it and the, the gloves and everything and the claws. This helmet. Ugh. It can be a pain in the butt. I do like the claws, though. I tried to swap out the parts with my Iron Man, but they don't really... They aren't really compatible or swappable, but anyway. Really love the detailing. It's a very simple figure. I'd love to get the Marvel Legends one of this. <laughs> I, was, I ran into it once at EB Games. It was $30. And it's already gone, I imagine. It's In fact, it's long gone. That's so weird to me that EB Games is selling action figures now. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it just boggles my mind. Oh, and they got like an entire wall. Of, they have more room dedicated to Funko Pops, which I do plan on maybe getting a few of in the future. Who knows? <laughs> I know I want some of the Mega Man and Power Rangers ones that are coming down the pipeline in the summer. They have more room dedicated to that than they have the entirety of their Nintendo stock. <laughs> it's it's a strange time we live in. But yeah, very nicely detailed Chitala. Those were eight ninety. This was eight ninety nine for these two at Superstore. <laughs> And I got this bad boy again at Walmart. I've been going. I buy a lot of toys from Walmart these days because they're they're dirt cheap, really. <laughs> they are, and I can afford it. Hooray for employment! Yeah, uh, he was nine ninety seven from the new Team and Team movie, which I haven't seen, so no spoilers. <laughs> I'm probably not going to go see it in the theaters. I don't know anyone in my circle of friends who really wants to go see it. So uh, I mean, I just saw X-Men Apocalypse, another great movie. Wish there was a toy line for that. I love a Quicksilver from that movie. <laughs> But it's Bebop! We're gonna smash them titles! Yeah, I love it. I love, love, love that we have Bebop and Rock City and Casey Jones and Krang and Shredder all in one movie. <laughs> I assume you get Krang and Casey Jones and Shredder. I, I, I can't... It's funny, they really extended Bebop's uh, ponytail. Like, I love how they even like hit it behind the belt. That's a great job, Playmates. I love the studded... Uh, Studied uh, spikes, boots, everything, the sunglasses, the tusks, the tattoo, comes with a chain and all that, you know, whip them turtles and club them. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so much fun, I love it. I love this new Ninja Turtles toy line. was not a fan of the first movie till the end. I bought like one <laughs> Raphael figure that like has an epileptic fit with his size when you squeeze his legs. I still need to post up that review from like two years ago. I'm so behind on my toy reviews. But that's for another time. <laughs> Moving on to the Power Rangers. I got this from 30, was it 30 bucks? I believe it was $40, no, $40 that I paid for this, yes. From a friend of a friend, you might know Ian Beardman from the Thrift Dwellers. Well, his buddy Mario hooked me up with this <laughs> in exchange for me helping him price out some Power Ranger stuff that his nephew wanted to get rid of. I wanted this, and I missed out when it was originally on store shelves, because I wasn't employed back then, <laughs> for the longest time in 2014. Uh, it is the Power Rangers Super Mega Force Legendary Megazord, comprised of five parts, Skyship, uh, Super Mega Jet, Super Mega Jet, and Racer, Wheeler, and Sub. Why does everything have to be Super Mega? You can't just say Jet Zord, Racer Zord, Wheeler Zord, Sub Zord. I know it's... I'm creative, but so is calling everything Super Mega. That's, that's like a, an oxymoron. Mega comes after Super. <sighs> Maybe I'll make a video where I talk at length about my problems with Mega Force and Super Mega Force. <laughs> Although Lin Carr already pretty much covered all those in his history of Power Rangers reviews. But anyway, this, despite coming from a lackluster season, is still a great toy. Love the color scheme. <laughs> Not as cool as the Japanese Gold Kaiser version, but come on. This has Zord Builder. You can mix and match, like, parts of anything. Even the Legacy line. Speaking of, we'll be getting a... The Thunder Megazord is out now. We're getting a Ninja Megazord very soon. Plus, a wearable Red Ranger helmet. I want that helmet. <laughs> so thank you, Mario, again. Did I call you Mario? <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Too many Marios in my life. This was uh, $3.99 from Value Village. Uh, the <laughs> Dino Thunder Thunder Morphin Triassic Ranger, as you can see, he's based off the Triassic Ranger design from Dino Thunder. I remember watching that show as a kid on Family Channel, like really early in the weekday mornings. That takes me back when Family Channel 
was actually a good channel and not just populated by crap like Hannah Montana. Ugh, freaking hate Hannah Montana. Okay, so pretty easy transformation. You basically just fold up his legs, tuck his arms in, and his head, and he's, um, <laughs> I want to say Triceratops, but it looks more like it's Triacosaurus. Uh, thanks to another Power Rangers season, Dino Charge, I've gotten a brush up on my dinosaur knowledge. <laughs> so many I didn't hear of before. So three ninety nine for that, very cool. Speaking of Dino Charge, these were recently on sale, 25% off at Toys R Us, so instead of twenty one ninety nine, <laughs> they're, uh, they're like, what, sixteen forty seven or something? is the Dino Supercharged Ammonite Zord. This was originally released in a green color scheme, but those became impossible to find, even in the States. You can see there's a spot for the Dino Charger, but the front part of mine broke off, and I had to reattach it, and now it won't do the clicky-clicky, you know, slideshow thing. Cheap-ass Bandai America plastics, whatever. As you can see, it, the main feature is that it comes off, is that that comes off. You flip this down, you attach this to the back, I feel like I'm doing mini reviews. I plan to do full length reviews for all of these. And, uh, <clears throat> there you go. You have like a cool Gatling gun. It's a Gatling gun, and you can attach it like to a shoulder, or if you, you can make it an arm. Jeez, now let's save some stuff for the in depth reviews. <laughs> and this is, uh, the Dinosic Sword. Uh, really like him. Like how, like, when you roll him along. Jaw moves up and down. It's very crocodile-esque. It's like a prehistoric crocodile. When you insert the charger, I'll just do it with my finger. <laughs> Look at that, huh? This becomes another mouth. You can, like, separate him. He'll become, like, a pair of dino boxing gloves. Very cool. Happy to have these. Love the colors. The bright orange and the, <laughs> the really cool blue on the ammonites. Very happy. Sad that we didn't get the green ammonite as much up in Canada, or even in the States for that matter. <laughs> but hey, at least we got it. We finally found this at the local thrift store. I forget for how much. I think this was in a bag for stuff of like a buck fifty. <laughs> it is a very uh, simplified version of the <laughs> Operation Over Mac, or Overdrive Over Mac. Well, Mac was the name of the Red Ranger in Operation Overdrive. Another series I watched on Family Channel, which I particularly did not enjoy. The only good thing about that was a 50th anniversary team up. Anyway, it's the Drive Max Ultra Zord, I believe. <laughs> and, uh, very limited. The head moves. Uh, the drill moves, kinda. Yeah, good luck using that. And this moves, like, like there's a, a swivel and a turny and a, and a pushy pulley lifty craney thing. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> I mean, I like the colors and everything. I mean, this piece comes off on the back, for what reason, I don't know. Like, I imagine this came in one of those adventure sets. Oh, jeez, before I forget, speaking of adventure set, I imagine you got these figures, or something along these lines like it. Uh, these were in the same bag as that. <laughs> so this is the red Sentinel Overdrive Ranger in his uh, power-up mode after merging with the Sentinel Knight. <laughs> Very nice gold. And it's only in this stance. I have a bunch of these other adventure set uh, figures from Wild Force and Mystic Force and, of course, Operation Overdrive, which I think they were most prevalent. Speaking of Ni and uh, from Ninja Storm, I imagine this is from the 15th anniversary uh, toy li uh, line, because Operation Overdrive was the 15th season. It's Chumo from Ninja Storm. Uh, I, I barely remember Ninja Storm now that I think about it. you got to go back and watch it. <laughs> but Chubo... Uh, was one of the main villains. He's a very comedic villain. Actually, all of them were very comedic villains in that season. <laughs> nice sweet painted. <laughs> um, if you ever played the Power Rangers Super Legends video game for PS2, like, when you fight him, he'll, he keeps doing this annoying thing that I hate in his boss fight. He's like, Chubo! 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 It's like, just shut up and die already! <laughs> oh, it gets annoying. And now on to the real meat of the pickups. Transformers, robots, and disguise. <laughs> 1999. There was recently a price drop on these, thankfully. On sale for $14.95, um, I believe. Combiner Wars Hotspot, aka Defensor. You can see his combiner head poking out of there. <laughs> Very nice. Love this figure. Uh, just so much. I love the deco, the little fire rescue details. <laughs> Like, you can 
oh, excuse me, moah, you can basically like attach, detach these guns, like combine them, and it becomes a gigantic water hose. Like that's his probably his combiner mode gun. <laughs> In fact, I think it is. He's got like a functioning step ladder and everything. You can combine like guns on this, or, like water cannons. He's just he's such a fun toy. I have so much fun transforming him back and forth. <laughs> My only issue is that some of the pegs don't stay in all stay down all the way. Uh, especially with the chest piece in combiner torso mode, but <laughs> that can be true for a lot of combiner wars torso modes. I think that's the one flaw with them. Except Superior, he stays completely <laughs> together. Also from Combiner Wars, picked him up. He was on sale as well for eleven ninety nine. Well, he was like ten something. Uh, this was before the price drop when these were still selling for like seventeen. It is Sunstreaker. As you can see his Combiner War, uh, his Combiner Foot Hand Double Dealy becomes his engine block, and you can attach it in car mode. So he looks just like the G One Sunstreaker. Really like the mold. Only problem I have is again this part is a little finicky in transformation, and these these hip joints are. Uh, they were a pain. It took me quite a few. I had to watch a few different vid a few different videos to see how properly he transformed. And then I read the instructions and realized I forgot a double hinge at the leg, like a complete idiot. Oh well. Yeah, kind of, yeah. I'll make you mistakes. But yeah, love Sunstreaker. His uh, his gun, his sword gun thing is actually being held by Power Master Optimus. We needed a second gun. <laughs> and then. On another uh, big day, also with the post birthday money from the the pop and the and the bro, <laughs> the bro got a Combiner Wars Mirage, who is a reprint of Drag Strip from Wave One. Love, love, love this guy. Love the uh, the Drag Racer mode, as you can see. Some people have had an issue with this part breaking off, but I've been extra careful, so like nothing goes wrong with it. Uh, love it. Very G One. Uh, I still need to get Prowl and Ironhide from this wave, and then I can get Skylinks and just create the ultimate Autobot Combiner! I don't really like any of the Skyrain limbs. I don't like Hound or Trailbreaker or... Wheeljack looks terrible, which sucks, because he's like one of my favorite Autobots. <laughs> Such a cool guy in G1 and beyond, but he was great in Prime too. But the Combaticons are here! Got Brawl, who was also eleven ninety nine thanks to the price drop. <laughs> The only problem I have, the chest doesn't really peg in all that well. Uh, but, you know, and this one is kind of wibbly wobbly. But it's not too big of an issue. He stays together in, uh, you know, in vehicle mode. He has an awesome vehicle mode. You can detach this and make it a gun if you wanted to. I prefer to leave it on just to evoke his G1 self. Snaps in pretty nicely. And, of course, he makes one heck of a bad, badass leg. Brawl. You gotta love them. You gotta get the rest of them now. Vortex, blast off, um, swindle, and then I can get Galvatron. No, Galvatron, Cyclonus, and for Galvatronus, the ultimate Decepticon combiner. And then he and Skyrain can fight. <laughs> um, and the winner will be decided by you. Maybe. <laughs> um, Thirty cents. He was still sealed in his bag, but he's out of it because I didn't want to leave him in there. It is McDonald's Beast Machines Tankor. Speaking of which, if you can see over there, there is the uh, the Generations Tankor. Uh, he's the blue guy uh, in front of Spidey <laughs> and behind Kylo Ren. <laughs> Got him for my birthday. Love, love, love that figure. Very show accurate. I am actually one of the few Transformers fans who probably does enjoy Beast Machines. It's good as its own series, but not as a sequel to Beast Wars. <laughs> no. But I do like this. McDonald's to Transformer toys have always been a big part. Uh, I remember one of my first Transformers after, like, Soundwave and Optimus Minor was a McDonald's Beetle uh, Beast Wars toy. So I'm always collecting these. I guess it's just a nostalgic attachment. Because a lot of the ones came out from shows that I watched as a kid in Transformers, like <laughs> um, Armada and, you know... Obviously, Beast Machines and Beast Wars. Um, I know there was a Cybertron Happy Meal, uh, or Kids Meal at Burger King. I got the uh, Galvatron from that one. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, the movie toys and everything, and now with the robots in disguise. 
<laughs> it's just nice that, you know, you still got Transformer Happy Meals. And uh, I believe these two ca both came in the same bag. This is Legend Cybertron Legends Optimus. I have the bigger version of this figure. It just, like, dwarfs, like, dwarfs him. <laughs> but it's very nice. Had a little bit of trouble getting the head to stay up at first. It was not all the way pulled up. But, uh, yeah. Very nice. Very good artic- I've always liked the Legends class figures, because they're, they're small. But they pat- but they, like, you get bang for your buck. You get detail, you get articulation, you get both modes. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, these were both in the same bag for, like, a buck ninety-nine? I'm sure a lot of G1 fans can tell me who this guy is. Da 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 da! It's the Jump Starter Top Spin! <laughs> yeah! He's still got all of his stickers, I think. I mean, a few have kind of peeled in places. Don't look as good as they used to, but they're all still there. Love that classic head sculpt. Uh, love the chrome parts of the vehicle mode. Love the gimmick in general. Love G1. Always nice to add more to the collection. Um, this is Movie Camshaft from the AllSpark Power Wave. He was on his in another in a different bag for like um, three ninety nine, I think. Toys are creeping up in price at Value Village. It freaking sucks. Um, but he's he's a very good uh, transformer. He's got this thing where uh, I think if you push down, how's it go? There's some some mechanism in him that uh basically like makes him fire it off. Oh, there I found it. So he's got a belly a belly cannon. Go to your belly cannon. Your belly cannon. The exploding laser firing belly button. <laughs> uh, very, very nice. I like him. Uh, you know, I do have the, the issue with his head kind of, because of the way the chest is assembled, his head kind of can't get a full range of motion. These can be annoying, like they can get in the way. The arms are kind of out of weird construction. They're on a ball joint here, but then they're like on a, on a hinge. So it, it's just weird. Yeah. But yeah. Very happy to have camshafts. <laughs> and finally, because this video is getting really long, Decepticon Sans thing. He doesn't have the little swords that attach to his sides, because, uh, as you can see, shrapnel's holding them. Uh, <laughs> well, we need some Insecticons. This is the first Minicon I've gotten from the Robots in Disguise 2015 toy line. Found it randomly at Superstore for like $5.99. They couldn't even find in the system. Well, they, they could, but they had to ring it up as an Avengers figure. <laughs> so, but hey, at least I got it. I love the purple translucent armor. Of course, you can take you can take it all off. And uh, there's there's his, his, his scorpion head. Of course, he'll work with any figure that works with Minicons. So, like deployers like Draft and uh, you know, what's the other one? Fracture and. Uh, Mega Optimus Prime, who I still need to get. They're still trying to sell him for $40. Waiting for that clearance price to kick in, baby. <laughs> and there he is in his uh, Minicon mode. So, like, you could stick this into Poyer Fractures, like, backpack, and it would <laughs> shoot and attack. And I just, you know, people complain about gimmicks in Transformer toys, but I like them. They, it's always nice to have a bit of playability. There's always going to be lines like this, like Generations aimed at collectors. Even Generations has playability with like combining combiners and coming like later this year and into early next year. Headmasters and the return of like just we've seen so many gimmicks come back. We have we have combiners back. We had tar we had one target master uh, in the 2014 Generations wave which is something to get a uh, scoop. We have uh like we've had a lot we're seeing a lot of it come back now and I'm really glad for it uh, like we're seeing a new sound wave and blaster with like new tapes it's just nice that all of this keeps getting you know remade and that for new generations and for fans who can't find the originals that are decent price it's just nice to see that everything old is new again so to speak so with that uh, cheesy sentimental sappy speech out of the way I've been GTV News for Gamers, and I'll see you in part three of Return of the Big One. We're going to tackle movies. I'm going to give you a hint. Stop!
That was a terrible impression. <laughs>